welcome back to Belmont Bunch. Uh, the Islanders suck. All right, that was a little bit hyperbolic, but the Isles lose 6-3 in a game where they led 3-0 after one. They played exactly 20 minutes of this game with any care, passion, anything. Uh, Semyon Varumov was terrible. The defense was terrible. And that stretch in the second period, the five-minute, nine-minute stretch, whatever it was, the Capitals scored five goals and added an empty netter in the third. Um, that was a compounding of lazy play, icings, uh, icings, repeated icings, uh, creating face-offs in your own zone, uh, getting beat in front of your own net in net front battles, and uh, failed clearances on penalty kills. Uh, the Capitals scored on two of their three power plays tonight. Um, where do you go from here? Um, I saw one in the Twitter in the Twitter sphere uh, saying that they should waive somebody um, that's like fairly uh, renowned on the team to like to wake them up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. Um, obviously, you don't lose a whole game off of icing Leo Komarov on the second line, but uh, it doesn't help. It was fun to watch the kids, at least at least for one period. Bellows and Wallstrom, I think, were fine. Um, it was a total team effort in falling apart in that second period. And uh, I think we have to face the facts that the best fourth line in hockey, with incredibly huge air quotes, uh, is done. Uh, I think the Martin signing looks horrible, 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 horrible now. Uh, they're not even physical anymore. And uh, that is a problem because that's the only thing they add. Sezikis gets a goal in this one off a clutterbuck shot. Nice. Um, that's the first time this year that either have brought any sort of offensive flair. So that needs to be more consistent. Um, yeah, I do think they should probably wave like a clutterbuck or a uh, Martin just, just to wake the team up. Obviously, waving Leo doesn't do anything. They've already done it once and it didn't. Uh, do anything. Uh, he got promoted. Leo Komarov got a promotion for costing us the game the other day, so I do want to point that out. Um, I don't think Barry has a, a complete um, handle on the team at the moment because uh, obviously they're not responding to him in the way that we've seen in the past. And um, they're kind of a miserable team to watch right now. Uh, Barzal took a 10-minute game misconduct at the end of the game. It kind of feels like they're, they're falling apart at the seams. And uh, even when they get offense in a game where you think, great, we're a defensive team, you got three goals, should be good. Um, somehow, it got to the point where the Capitals could take one shot in the third period and coast to victory. Um, I just also want to point out that this would be bad enough if this was Ovi, Kuznetsov, and Samsonov. Um, and they didn't have Wilson in the first game either. Um, but this is like a total, complete uh, embarrassment from the Islanders. They just got annihilated by a JV team. Um, this is like one of those look at yourself in the mirror kind of games. Where, where do you go from here? Uh, I go to walk in traffic. That's what I'll do. Um, yeah, that's, that's probably it. We don't need to talk about this anymore. Um, look for the... Wow, next Wednesday, the podcast is going to be great when we recap all the games from this past week, and it starts off with this. Uh, either way, it's either going to be like the, the, the worst week in Islander history, hyperbole again, or uh, like they play amazing after this, and this is a nice, stupid afterthought that we laugh at afterwards. But um, keep playing the kids. Please keep playing the kids. It was one of the only things that was watchable tonight. Um, and I think the game was summarized by the Isles trying to gain a zone entry down 5-3 with a 6-on-4 power play because of the pull of the goalie and the Islanders couldn't enter the zone and then took a penalty and then Barzal got kicked out of the game. So that's um, that's the game. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Why is Schneider on the team if he doesn't start the third? Uh, Varley uh, w was made of Swiss cheese on that third tying goal. Uh, it shot right at him and he gets in. Um, why, why do you, why do you trot him back out in the third? I like give it, that's a perfect time to get Schneider some game time. 
Uh, clearly, the team is, like, done trying for the night at the end of two. Um, so I think Schneider playing would have been something. I don't think, uh, even though the shots were 11-1 uh, in the third, I don't think there was that much uh, that the Giles really generated. And uh, that's it. Uh, wow. See you next time, I guess. We got a back-to-back with Philly, and it already feels like, uh, you know, the, the season's falling apart. We're one point ahead of the Rangers for last place. I hope that motivates them. And we'll see you next time.